Good morning, Honorable Chairman and Board of Directors. First, we would like to thank you for selecting us as the marketing consultant for your prestigious project. Today, we are going to present the marketing plan which we have developed by Indian Market Research and Analysis. And it will be presented by a team of consultants. The structure of the presentation will be disordered. The situation analysis, marketing objectives, marketing strategies, marketing tactics, financial objective, and finally implementation control and recommendation. And session will be winded up by UNA session. Now, Nihas, could you continue with the situation analysis? Thank you. Good morning, everyone. So, let me take you through the situation analysis. So let us see the market highlights. <coughs> the market share of Lucky is 1.1 billion out of 6.5 billion overall, which is 17 percentage. We have done a macro environment analysis, so I will take you through the elements of it. So first, let me uh, take you to the political factor. The political policies on milk, milk products, milk farmers, and the relaxation of tax. Also, the government grants and concession are playing a major role. Political stability in the country is always better for a business development. Now, the next point of the macro analysis is economical factor. A stable economy in a country is always better for a business sustainability. And the luxury valuated products may also affect if the country economy is unstable. The fluctuation in the country also influences people's buying power on dairy products. So let us go to the next slide on the third factor of the macro environment analysis, which is social factors. The current social trend in the country lead to a healthy lifestyle. Therefore, the luxury products and the value-added products have a good demand. Nutritional awareness is increased nowadays and therefore good demand for dairy products you can see. Now the other factor is technological factor under the macro environment analysis. The technological improvement has created better business solutions and market expansion. Also the e-market become a good trend among the new generation. Now let us see the environmental factors. Seasonal weather fluctuation has become deterrent force against a smooth functioning of supply chain. Now the last factor of the pastoral analysis is legal factor. Control price on direct products is one of the main legal factor that influences and increased taxes on the imported dairy products by the government will encourage local brands. So that's all under the macro environment analysis. So, so let me take you to the micro environment analysis. So here we will see the SWOT analysis. So let me first talk about the strengths. There are a number of strengths. One, this is a local brand with more popular among the people. And we have an excellent, well-experienced leadership team. Also, we have a milk processing plant with a capacity of 7,000 cups per hour and 10,000 liters. There are 25 or little more than 25 Kirikata outlets across the southern part of the country, which is representing 35 percentage geographically. Also, we have 140 vehicles in the fleet for the delivery. So these are the strengths. So let's see the weaknesses. Main weaknesses, weakness is transportation and logistics because of only one factory. And there is another weakness which is poor road network among our coverage area. Also, the dairy product being a perishable product is one another weakness. 
Also, the significant weakness of uh, lucky is the raw material can be stored only for a limited short time, which is only 72 hours. So now let's move to the opportunities. There is a good appreciation for the Kirikata, which is our brand new tactic of the business, which we have variety of regular, mini and Kirikata plus and some ice cream parlors. Also another opportunity is that our products are being the same price among the competitors but more in quantity. Other opportunity I can say the varying needs of the customers at the present era which we are meeting. So last element of the micro environmental analysis which is threats. The main threat is the multi, multinational giants with immense financial power that is demolishing our growth. Also the new entrants into the market with very low price. But again they are into a very small market. The existing competitors like Fonterra, Highland and Ambedonda also another threat for us. Lastly, the weather fluctuation as you can see in these ways. So, so that's all under the micro environment analysis. So for the next part, let me call my colleague, Mr. Tango. Thank you very much, Nihas. Uh, and uh, now it's uh, my time to take you through uh, the slight uh, company's objectives, which, which, all, which is also equally a very important area for the company to uh, focus on in the in the next uh, coming uh, three months period, uh, three months, uh, three years uh, period, and so on. Uh, so we have carefully uh, uh, designed these objectives after doing a very detailed uh, anal analysis, market intelligence, and uh, a lot of uh, research methodologies used to arrive at these uh, objectives. And uh, this is actually uh, to ensure that company moves into the right direction and to make sure profit controls profitability to maintain growth and survival in this highly competitive market. So in our study, uh, we basically uh, considered very broad areas like uh, very much market in Sri Lanka, where the company stands in the market uh, as of today. And the company's existing product range, uh, market positioning, the core competencies, the target ma target markets, uh, all those factors. And the Lucky's brand equity being a local company, it's a highly competitive advantage to compete with the, even though the multinational giants, multinational uh, supplies are giant and huge, and we are trying to demolish the Lucky brand, it's a local identity, it's a very important point to in the next three years or so on uh, marketing strategy and the company's financial and other core competencies like the marketing team and the resources already companies having uh, using all these things uh, next area is uh, as the basis we have to look at the current uh, financial and the product uh, market position uh, which lucky and lucky brand is having today which is actually a uh, uh, I mean, the, we should appreciate like the company has done a great job uh, in 2000, year 2016-2017. Despite, uh, as annual report and other information says, like uh, when we exchange ideas, it's uh, very challenging the natural disasters and all. But the still, company has done a very great job. Uh, here, what we need to highlight is uh, the yogurt and milk products uh, categories in the entire product range. Uh, compared to other five uh, product categories, uh, these two categories are very highly important. If you see, if you see, it is uh, generating uh, 61, 33%, 28%, which 61% of the entire revenue generates from these two categories. But these two categories actually performing in the lower level, which which is actually as we know it is very challenging. But uh, we need to uh, really focus on these areas to develop. Uh, Management and direct reports, uh, senior management uh, focus and the market focus has to be on this area as well. When you see the market share of having respectively 70 percent, 12 percent, and the sales growth of 8 percent and 7 percent, which uh, really company has to focus on developing. So after considering all those areas, we have carefully designed the marketing uh, objectives, uh, which are uh, realistic and practical. Uh, as far as we have done the 
maximum efforts to make sure that company moves to the right direction. So based on our studies, uh, our first uh, objective is to increase the market share in the these four categories, uh, yogurt and milk products can by 5% annually by volume, means by liters, number of company has to look into that. Uh, it has the potential, those, all those areas are explained in the strategy in the coming slides and in the retail marketing uh, printed material which you provide to you, which we have already provided you. And increasing gross profit margin, uh, two, like 2% 2 annual growth uh, within the coming three years and so on we can even consider even more but we have kept for the uh, reasonable growth rate uh, after considering all the challenging factors. And the new market segments uh, like uh, <coughs> segments like milk, yogurt products, uh, in like uh, for example, uh, schools, hospitals, government offices, canteens and all those areas, uh, lucky brands presence is not much, uh, means still the potential is there to develop. So these areas are highly potential given the local uh, identity of the uh, company, so we can give a very good competition and to penetrate the market we can use those strengths. And introduction of new product range, uh, uh, what we really mean is uh, it's a cheese and butter products which is, uh, the company has a very good potential in this area and it doesn't need the huge investments given that the company is, you can see the uh, bit difficult financial situation. With these products uh, categories we can uh, launch very easily. And uh, finally, the company's mission as permission also, uh, 2020, the global lucky. Uh, let's move on, uh, just to explain you and more build more confidence on you, uh, how we arrived at that and uh, what are the rationals behind all these uh, uh, objectives. Uh, like increasing the market share, it is there is a huge potential as I said, uh, there is a huge potential in the local areas, and untapped markets are there, uh, which I explained in more detailed material. And the uh, increase of cost profit margin uh, for this uh, ideal uh, concept is now it is open, like we should thank for the director board and management of that, the Kirikata and Kirikata Plus which eliminates the unwanted uh, retail uh, intermediaries and uh, uh, distribution in, in the intermediaries which really help company to generate a healthy margin. Plus exploring new market segments uh, which is uh, mainly the low fat, uh, fat free or the low sugar calorie which you should highlight uh, that area and because it's a, in Sri Lanka currently that market is highly expanding. So introduction new product lines and the global markets uh, as I said it's a challenging uh, objective but Yes, it's of course worth to achieve. So we recommend uh, Asian markets first after considering the highly competitive situation in the European markets. Uh, so uh, that's the end of my uh, objectives presentation and uh, I invite uh, Michael to talk about to continue on the coming slides. Once you establish a marketing objective, the next important step is to develop marketing strategy to achieve the marketing objective. There are three main, main categories of marketing of strategies. First is the intensive growth, interact, interactive growth and diversification growth. Intensive growth means identify opportunity to achieve further growth within the current business. Integrated growth means Identify opportunity to build or acquire other business which are related to the current business. For example, uh, acquiring upstream or downstream channel. For example, uh, can acquire dairy farm or dairy product for other producer. And diversification growth this identify opportunity to add attractive business which are not related to the current business. Again, the example is uh, the business is located in market Amrul Pijir. The area is famous for cinnamon cultivation, so they can move to a cultivated market, technology uh, <coughs> plantation business or tourism. However, these are the option, but having considered the current financial situation of the company, integrated growth or marketing growth may not be feasible because it should require high volume of capital investment. So, the, our focus should be on the intensive growth strategies. Under the intensive growth strategy, there are three subcategories market penetration strategy, market development strategy, and product development strategy. And the 
market penetration strategy means increase the sales of current product portfolio in the current market segment by creating new customer. Example that they increase the number of Kirkata outlet from the current 20 to 100 in the southern part of the island. Oh, also joining the supermarket chain. <coughs> Most of the supermarket chain they are already established uh, producers locally and important, but entering the supermarket chain is important to develop the product image and the market development strategy, identify and develop new market segment for current product portfolios. Current business is largely focused on the southern part of Ireland, so which can be expanded to the western and central and the west of the island. And product development, offer modified or new product portfolio to the current market segment. The two examples in the low cut products. There is a growing demand for low cut product for the health conscious consumer. And also the cheese and butter probably can be done through a joint venture with the foreign investor because it requires high technology and introduce the sour milk which is in the Middle East region we are famous as a Laban. This there's no producer in the Sri Lanka at the moment, so this will be an opportunity. And these are the strategy. This will be explained in detail in the marketing tactics section by Chama. Chama, will you continue with Thank you very much, Prabha. Uh, good morning, everyone. <coughs> I'm going to take you through a quick uh, run on the marketing tactics in the next couple of minutes. So, my area is the marketing tactics that Lucky is going to adapt during next three years to increase its market share and uh, finally increase the turnover, the revenue of the company. The marketing tactics means the outlining the marketing activities that will be undertaken to execute the marketing strategy to achieve the organizational objectives, marketing objectives. So basically the, we have considered marketing mix while preparing the marketing tactics. The ma marketing mix widely known as 4Ps. There are 4 categories in the marketing mix. The product, price, place and promotion. So I am going to take you through each item going forward. So the product. Product means there are uh, several attributes that we can use to promote the product of the market, uh, Lucky Lanka Milk Company. The product variety, product quality, brand, design, size of the product, packaging, warrant, warranties comes under product. So here I have focused on three areas. The product variety. Lucky has already diversified this product with so many varieties. However, we are recommending to diversify milk section further for example fat milk cheese and butter so the size of the product also can be improved to compete with the market for example in the market uh, it is available the yogurt cups are available in 500 grams and 1 kg as a family pack so the same can be introduced by Lucky as well to expand its market and strengthen its market share. The packaging. Packaging is uh, very important to diversify, uh, to uh, differentiate the product from other competitors. So the packaging, we need to ensure the packaging are in line with the international standard. For example, introducing biodegradable packaging solution for all the product. So second P of the marketing mix is the price. Price is very important because the price is sensible and the price can price is the uh, major factor which define the organization revenue. So there are three areas I have considered under the price. Discount, the price listing and allowances and credit terms and all. So price listing, compared to other prices the uh, lucky prices are more competitive, I can say. And the discounts, 
in terms of discount we are recommending to offer more discounts on the during the some times of the uh, I mean uh, in some way uh, sometimes the sales are very low and during this period we are recommending to recommending to offer more discount for example during the rainy season the sales is very low I mean the demand for the direct product and ice cream is bit low so therefore we can offer more discounts to promote the product and keep the revenue so the second is that uh, another discount is uh, we can offer major discount for the supermarkets number three is the credit terms we can offer the more competitive credit terms for the buyers where we can increase the sales and third one of the product uh, marketing mix the promotion promotion also playing a key role in this uh, marketing tactics so under the promotion we have discuss, uh, we are going to discuss the sales promotion advertising sales polls and public relation how we are going to use these attributes to enhance the market share and uh, uh, finally gain a uh, higher uh, revenue the sales promotion for example we are recommending to promote fresh milk by using school canteens uh, school uh, various events which are going to be held in school and so on advertising also we are highly recommended to promote digital marketing uh, while advertising which is a cost effective mode of uh, advertising for example facebook twitter we can use and the sales force and the last uh, P of the marketing mix is place. Place uh, comprise uh, channels, location, and transportation and coverage. So here actually we our focus is branding local food cities with uh, lucky brands and issue greater deals to them to promote the lucky products. And location, the opening Kirkata outlet in. Uh, uh, near the hospital, bus stand, and uh, and so on, where people are gathering always. Transportation, we are recommending to uh, outsource the transportation and distribution. So, and then the finally, once we are once we are implementing these tactics, we are going to achieve the financial success as shown in my this slide. So you can see at the beginning of 2017, uh, 1.1 billion revenue. It will be to, to over 2 billion end of the 2020. Uh, uh, so the same thing I have presented in the graphical format for your better uh, understanding. So to conclude the presentation on the marketing plan, I am inviting my colleague Chandana to uh, uh, conclude. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Chandra and my colleague, uh, for the opportunity. And uh, we have reached uh, now almost end of our presentation. Uh, in uh, presentation, uh, our recommend, uh, I would like I would, uh, I would highly like to recommend uh, the company the, for the senior management and board of directors our recommendations. It is uh, mainly the focus on the marketing plan and the detailed marketing material which which you have already provided which gives a link between objective, strategy and the financial uh, results uh, in a meaningful way and interlinked way. So focus on the, those areas, the director forward and senior management and uh, let the downward uh, sales and all other layers to be aware of the plan and objectives and direction of the company and mission of the vision and mission of the company which is really important uh, to come for the company to achieve uh, these areas. Uh, and as uh, controls, uh, I would like to recommend uh, like uh, the management and the board of directors uh, need to see uh, very closely the financial results and the market intelligence and all the information month on month to see the direction where the company moves uh, ahead to identify the flag and to uh, get information about any deviation and to hold the recorrection actions to make sure this plan is achievable. And uh, finally, it's the time for conclusion of the presentation, market presentation. Once again, I uh, 
thank uh, once again I thank uh, my uh, all my colleagues who did uh, very good and very uh, hard work for this uh, for this uh, product to make a meaningful and uh, uh, realis realistic uh, presentation and uh, I hope uh, we did a convincing and uh, meaningful presentation to all of you uh, and once again finally I thank for the company to uh, offer offering us this opportunity and we, uh, I hope we did our maximum best uh, to give the company the maximum output and direction. So it's the time, uh, if you have any concern, you can raise from any of my colleagues, mine or any of my colleagues. Uh, that's the end of our session. Thank you very much.